A Suffolk County Community College is now offering a course to help auto mechanics stay up to date with technology. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports they're learning to pivot to work on electric vehicles. Rosemary Miscali charges up her EV with a regular wall outlet. As a founder of Drive Electric Long Island, she leads the charge to make driving cleaner and greener. We hit 50,000 EVs on the road on Long Island which is a great milestone. We have the most EVs in our region as anywhere in New York State. Steady growth that's sending some auto mechanics back to school. The high voltage battery is what's going to crank that motor. Suffolk Community College has partnered with PSEG Long Island to offer this two-day introductory course in EV and plug-in hybrid maintenance and safety. Most obviously there's no engine there, right? And there's a whole lot more in terms of wiring and electronics. Uh, so there's a whole new skill set for technicians to learn to competently work on these vehicles. In this session, the students are mostly PSEG Long Island auto mechanics. In five years, the utility's entire 500 light duty fleet will be fully electric. <laughs> the regular ICE vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles, we're all familiar with. We've been working on for almost 100 years now. This is a complete change. It's already happening, so we have to get ahead of the curve. Students have come from school districts, municipalities, dealerships. The goal to support the state's climate goals to reduce emissions. All new vehicle sales in New York State are going to be fully electric by 2035, and medium heavy-duty vehicles will be fully electric sales by 2045. But EV sales sales far outpace the number of mechanics. Frankly, the marketplace is not ready for it from a technical perspective. There's a lot of technicians out there that need some training uh, to know how to handle these vehicles uh, for maintenance, for repair, diagnostic work. If you can excel at that, you can write your own ticket. What's also needed, more charging stations. This week, New York was awarded another 15 million federal dollars. Long Island's rapid growth due in part to so many single-family homes. The average range on cars today is plenty for our day-to-day -day driving needs, and we can charge conveniently at home. Drive Electric Long Island is celebrating the 50,000 car milestone with an EV parade next Wednesday to the LIE Welcome Center. Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Carolyn says according to the National Auto Dealers Association, more than 1 million EVs were sold last year in the United States, and that's 50% more than 2022.